Researchers at the University of Malaya have been working to create an innovative practice tool for surgeons. A tool to practice drilling into your skull. Ah! Yeah. Don't like it. Yeah. In collaboration with the University of Portsmouth and the University of Oxford, the Malaysian researchers have created an ultra-realistic, 3D-printed, two-part model of the skull. What makes something ultra-real? Life on the streets. Creating a proper model for such neurosurgical practices is difficult, since surgeons can encounter varying consistencies and densities of human tissues when they're poking around in there. And let's be honest, neurosurgery isn't a procedure that you want a rookie fumbling with. For the record, I don't want anyone poking around up there. Ever. Using a Stratasys Object 500 Connex multi-material printer, the researchers have created a realistic two-part model that closely resembles a human skull in both appearance and consistency. The reusable base, essentially a human skull, is printed with one material costs about two grand, and is used to train the novice in neuro-navigation techniques. The replaceable region, where the simulated surgery is performed near the top of the skull, is made up of several different materials and costs only about 600 bucks to fabricate. The materials separately simulate skin, bone, duramater, tumors, and normal brain tissue. The lobotomy process, I mean, uh, surgery, yeah, requires the surgeon to see, feel, and even hear these different materials. As they're drilling into your skull! Three different neurosurgeons, as well as an expert in surgical simulations, tested the materials by performing simulated surgery. Each gave the model resoundingly good marks. They better. How hard can it be? What? It's not rocket science. It's brain surgery. <laughs> Crack! 